Welcome back to 128KB. We are going to be talking about the new Nintendo Direct that lands tomorrow. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, they've just tweeted. They have. Nintendo, uh, in true Nintendo fashion, are dropping a random Nintendo Direct sometime in September. Yeah. And we found out that it's tomorrow, 11pm yep. GMT. Indeed. Um, and it sits alongside all the reports and rumours about this new Nintendo Switch controller, which is likely going to be for Nintendo Switch Online offerings. Oh, totally. It's going to have to be very similar to the the NES, the NES, yes. and the SNES uh, controllers that yep. are available for Nintendo Switch Online members, yep. which coincides with the games that are available yep. on the Nintendo Switch Online service. So we're kind of bringing together all these little bits of rumours that we've seen, our own thoughts on it, and of course, the news from Nintendo themselves. Mm. Um, the code name HAC043 has been kind of batted around the internet for a while now. It's been yeah, leaked yeah, yeah. on some confidential reports about patents and stuff from Nintendo. Yeah, for the past few days, maybe a week. Yeah, and so we've we've known that it sits in the same code naming mm. as the NES Switch yes. controller and the SNES Switch yes. controller, which were both beautiful products. Oh, yeah. And obviously both, as you say, coincide with the Nintendo Switch Online games that are yeah. free to play for Nintendo Online members. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Now... This is the exciting part, mm. is what style controller is going to be and what does that then mean for Nintendo Switch Online? As yeah. in what is the offering going to include? Yeah, because it's, it's so hinting at a drop of a new console, isn't it, for Absolutely. Nintendo Switch Online members. And, you know, we've been hearing about the, the Game Boy Advance being dropped yeah. or, or even more, like, often people saying the, the original Game Boy and Game Boy Color, not yeah. necessarily the Advance. However, we don't think that's going to be the case, no, especially because there's a certain anniversary this year. Yeah, it, firstly, the Game Boy thing, the original Game Boy, it seems too obscure... Mm. Um, for there to be a controller for a game for Game yeah. Boy games, if they were going to do it, yeah, they'd just put Game Boy games on Nintendo. Yeah, they'll just do it. And you play them handheld. Yeah, yeah. So a controller would be too obscure because they'd have to redesign a whole thing. Yeah, like how would you get a Game Boy, a Game Boy Color, or even a Game Boy Advance? There, there's more like, feasibility to Game Boy Advance because the yeah. games are are newer. Yeah, it was a technically a 32 bit console and also you could actually use the game boy advance as a controller on the gamecube if you had the right cable so so there is more feasibility to that but mm. we believe what's more likely like you say there's an anniversary this year yeah it's the n64 yeah and it would just make sense because it's a home system yeah so you know you've got the nares and the snares sorry to all you that hate me saying that and not snares just snares <laughs> snares <laughs> But yeah, so uh, it's just easier to say. So the NES and the SNES, you know, you've got home consoles right here. Yeah. So it just makes sense for the N64 to be next, yeah. especially because it's the 25th anniversary this year. Yeah. And they haven't done anything. They haven't released like a mini. They haven't done anything like that. Am like, I right in believing that those games only exist in, the, in that place? Well, on the N64. On the N64. Pretty much, yeah. Because as we see with Nintendo Switch Online, um, and of course with these the NES and SNES minis that we've re-released. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That era of games has been kind of rehashed a few times on Nintendo. Yeah. Even on the Wii U, you could yeah. play a lot of those games. Yeah, well, you could um, play N64 and GameCube on the Wii U. I so mean, it, Wii U is the home of, like, all uh, the emulation. All the emulation. And, and I guess that's my point, is this is what it leads to a bigger thing. For us hardcore retro game fans, we've been calling out for Nintendo for ages. Yeah. Just to put what was on the Wii U on yeah, the Switch. On the Switch, just do it. I mean, you've got all the Game Boy Advance, every, like you've got almost everything there. It would be phenomenal. It would be. And yes, some of them could be free for Nintendo Online members. Yeah. Some of them could be paid if yeah. you haven't got deals with publishers or whatever. Mm -hmm. Just bring it over. But it's exciting nonetheless. And we are willing to bet that it's the N64 that we're going to see yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, totally. So they've Nintendo just randomly dropped that direct announcement. Yeah. Like, just. And it's just, you know, they've been doing directs in this month for years now. So yeah. we were like, come on, it's going to be any day. Yeah, yeah, Any day. And now they've just announced it. And what I really liked was their wording. It is going to be a controller like the yeah, NES yeah. and SNES was um, for Nintendo Switch Online. Yeah. It's most likely going to be N64. There's a remote possibility it could be GameCube. Uh, I, I don't a controller that type. Yeah, I, I don't see that happening yet. If they're going to do GameCube, they're just going to remake them and remaster them. 
and, they've, and they've charge not, full price. Yeah, they've not done that enough. Like, and it's too recent. It's too recent. I would love it, like yep. hands down. You know, I've just bought another GameCube. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd love that, but I don't see that happening. I do think it's going to be the N sixty four, and the fact that they've said mainly looking at Nintendo Switch games, they're going to yep. be talking about Metro Dread. Yes, and um, they're going to be talking about you know some other releases. Possibly, maybe we'll see Bayonetta first time in four years. We've wow. got no yeah. gameplay of that. What's going on with Bayonetta? Yeah. Who knows? I don't know. You know, Bayonetta three. We're referring to here um so i'm thinking they're going to talk about some games that are launching especially bring up the oled no doubt i'm sure to say it's launching in a couple and, of and weeks like say, there's gonna be massive hype about dread still they're Too gonna right. bang that drum and then they're gonna say oh and also coming to switch online right at the end right on uh, at the end is n64 and here's a controller yeah I, I just that's what's gonna happen i swear that's it's just gonna happen and if it does um, we will be two very excited Nintendo nerds. Definitely, yeah. Especially because on these, uh, you know, the the reports that we're seeing filing around, they said that it would be announced before the 24th. You know, th- whatever this new controller is, yeah. on these, like, leaked, you know, images, says it will be announced before the 24th. And all of a sudden, Ta-da. oh, look, 23rd, here's a direct. Yeah. So it's really, really, really leaning hard onto that. And yeah, we just think it's going to be the N64, which would be amazing. Think of all the great games that the N64 has. But do you think they're going to bring out mm, like Mario 64? I reckon if they if they launch this new controller, which I really hope is an N64 controller, because we need more of those in our lives. And it'd be great if it was wireless, just like the SNES controller and stuff. Um, if they do that, they're going to have to launch at least like 10 games for Switch Online. They're not going to be like, here's one N64 game, here's a controller. They yeah, ain't going to do yeah. that. Here's they're, GoldenEye, cheers. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that would sell. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But I reckon they're going to be like, here's 10 games, maybe five at a real like, uh, push. Like, I'd say 10. Um, and we'd probably be looking at maybe Mario 64. Definitely. But they've remade that in that 3D All-Stars bundle. Yeah. But I, I'm thinking these games are going to be untouched. You know, no remaster. No, no, I doubt they're even 16 by 9. They're just going to pull them. Like they did. Like they did with the, the yeah. NES and the SNES. They're just going to put them right on. Because I was going to say, could you imagine games like Perfect Dark and yeah. GoldenEye yeah. with online multiplayer? I wish they did that. But wouldn't that be incredible that would make so many people's lives yeah like it really would but it is a re-engineering job and um, mm. whether nintendo have the stomach for that see i think they if, just do their own thing so they do it's possibly not and sometimes they shock you you know like yes. sometimes they come out and just do something shocking and i reckon if they did that they're gonna ask for more money for this the subscription You'd, service oh Yes. Because at the minute the it's like, what is it, seventeen ninety nine here in the UK for yeah. a year? Yeah, it's nothing. Which is like half the price of any other, like, you know, Easily. Xbox and PlayStation is much more expensive than that. Yeah. So I reckon they'll either tier it mm-hmm. so you can pay the current price and just get the NES and the SNES games. But then maybe for the, the N64, maybe they'll put the next tier up. Maybe that's 25 quid a month something like that. Or it could be where they sell games. Yeah, true. They might even put it on Marketplace. I don't think they will. No. I think it will be like a paid membership and then you get access just like this. But I can imagine if they're going to bring in multiplayer, I imagine they'll ask for an extra fee because, you know, they're going to have to run the servers and whatever. And that's an expensive proposition. Yeah, 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 exactly. It certainly is. Um, But even with that, that's really far-fetched fantasy. I'm not saying that that's likely to happen. In fact... I hope it does. (laughs) I hope it does. It'd be amazing. I've... Since multiplayer online games came about i've wanted to play perfect dark with other people across you know multiple people in a map yeah 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 rather than just up to four definitely be definitely. immense it would be great and whether that's like online for anybody to join or just online with your friends do you know what i mean like on your yeah. friends list i don't really care no just give me the ability to yeah, play yeah, online to- totally like that would be incredible um but yeah some of the other classics the n64 classics it would be beautiful to see them be great to play them on modern tennis yeah. because i mean unless you're really nerdy like we are and um get hdmi converters and yeah, stuff that yeah. actually work yeah a lot of people haven't seen these games since the N64. yeah yeah and and a huge portion of the, the switch player base now probably have never played them no, no or even know about them because what we're looking at uh, upwards of 90 million switch users yeah now. yeah yeah uh, that's far bigger than than yeah. would have seen the N64. oh e- easily you know easily but, you know, I, I can't really speculate on what games they would bring. 
but I really do think they would bring Mario 64. It's their like flagship game, you yeah, know. So you can't, you couldn't have the N64 without it. Yeah. Um, whether or not they bring like Mario Kart, maybe they did with the, was it the NES or the SNES? SNES. Yeah, they did yeah, with Super that. Super Mario Kart. I really want them to do an F Zero. Like an uh, oh, N64 yeah. F Zero would be amazing. Uh, um, um, Turok. Turok. No, oh, it could do. <laughs> well, why not? Yeah, yeah, why not? <laughs> I'm trying to think of what other games um, are in my head. World Cup 96. <laughs> Whatever it's it was not called. even on. No. Yeah. Star Fox. World Cup 98. Star Fox. Star Fox 64. 64. Amazing. I've, I mean, I've got it on 3DS, yep. so I can play it there. But how cool would it be to play it on the Switch with a redesigned Nintendo 64 controller? It's going to be amazing. Oh. Um but we will see. Yes. Tomorrow we'll find out tomorrow night for those yep. of you that night owls, uh, or if you're in America, it'll be in the evening. So yeah. well done you for living in America. I know. 11 p.m. for us. It's weird, isn't minutes. it? Cause surely in Japan, that's like, I well, suppose it's in Nintendo Europe. Well, normally it? Nintendo Directs are way earlier. Yeah. They're normally like during the day, like 5 p.m. UK time. Yeah. Because it'll be usually when evening it is. time for them. Yeah. And that's normally when it is. So it seems weird that they're literally hanging it out one hour before the end of the day. Hmm. Do you know what I mean? I don't think I've ever seen a direct that late before. No. So I wonder why. That is weird. But it's, it's, it's an odd time to do it. It is. Um, and for those of you that like to take the mick out of Andy, be, maybe because he hates pre-ordering the, the Steam Deck. It's my favourite thing to do. Um, he won't be able to watch it. I know. Because uh, he has to leave uh. for work at like five in the morning, <laughs> so he'll be in bed. But... Um, just to annoy him, I'll send him loads of text updates. So oh. when he wakes up, he'll get... I'll get to turn my phone off. I'll ring his house phone. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah. I will. <laughs> oh, Christ. Um, okay. Yeah, so exciting times. We'll see tomorrow. Yes. Undoubtedly, we'll report back on Friday. Um, oh, yeah. To see if we're right or wrong. You can laugh at us if we're wrong. If it's just a new pro controller, then that would be really boring. It's not. No. I have faith. Come on, Nintendo. We can do this. Do us a solid. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I guess that about wraps it up. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Exciting times. Let us know what you think in the comments below, what you think it may be. Yeah. Um, if you're watching this ahead of time and if you're watching it afterwards, let us know how right or wrong we were. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, thanks for watching. And of course, we'll see you next time. See ya. Bye.